this is how I hook the jack up to my power head to make my head a power head. But I notched this out so that it wouldn't get in the way of the cables here. This is the original bracket. I just grabbed a chunk of angle iron that I had laying around and welded it onto the jack right here. And then same thing back here. I took a chunk of angle iron that I had laying around, notched out around the jack, and then drilled my holes to mount them back up. And I just took the old piece off and laid them next to each other to get an idea of where it would sit so I knew where to mount uh, each one of these brackets. And then on this end here, I just cut a slit in the end of the jack. And I believe I just reused the same hole that was in the jack to put the pulleys on. And then for wiring, I ran the wire. So here's the wire. You know, make sure to leave it long enough so when it goes up and down, it's not going to um, be too short. And that just comes around to here. I put a fuse in line and then I hooked it up to the ignition wiring harness. There's an extra wire on the uh, 130 maxes that comes out of your ignition switch and that is just controlled by the switch. So when I shut this switch off, you can't move the head up and down. When you turn the switch on, now it will go up and down. There's a little uh, hole here so that you can stick the wrench that comes with this and crank it by hand in the event that the electric were to fail or whatever. You still have the manual option with this jack. I hope this video helps you with your modifications to your sawmill. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again for watching.